Rainy Paul loves to gamble. What I really enjoy a lot too is just kind of like the statistics and the odds. And she especially loves to gamble on sports. It's good to know like how a particular player plays against a certain team or a certain type of defense or how this offense is going to do in, in a certain situation. Paul is not alone. According to an ESPN survey, about 118 million Americans gambled on sports in 2008. And the National Council on Problem Gambling reported that 85% of American adults have gambled at least once in their life. To me, it's like almost a connection, like with the players, you know, there's like actual people out there performing and they're, they're at the top of their game. They're these amazing athletes that are fun to watch. And, you know, so it's, it, it kind of like, it brings that human element into it. Here, you're rooting for someone, you know, to do well or sometimes to do not so well. Paul places her bets on Bovada an offshore online gambling site. That's because gambling on sports games is illegal in California. But most internet gambling is unregulated and still seems to be a gray area of the law. It's an absorbing pastime that attracts the competitive spirit. When you're winning, you know, it's just like you, you really do think you figured the system out. It's really the, the thrill of, I think, being right and like knowing that yeah, we're, we're beating this big multi-billion dollar, you know, industry. Like, we, we did it, you know, even if we only won 20 bucks, you know. The National Gambling Impact Study Commission found that illegal wagers on sports games accounted for an estimated 400 billion nationwide every year. Since 1992, sports wagering has been prohibited outside the states of Delaware, Montana, Oregon, and Nevada. Well, in California, um, sports gambling is illegal, but of course it has to be a certain type of sports gambling. And so um, social gambling would be perfectly fine. If it's a bet just between me and you, and it's maybe on a game or something, that's all right. But when you actually involve maybe a third party like a bookie, or it stands that someone else gets money off of it, then you run into that territory of pretty much being involved in an illegal type of sports gambling. However, Enforcement is unrealistic, according to Lawrence. Most lower stakes gamblers have little chance of ever being prosecuted. It's really not underground. It's just an account. It's a website called bookiemarket.com. Anyone can sign up. Dan is a bookie. He asked us not to show his face or give his real name since he is breaking state law. But he says, overall, he's not too worried about the consequences. I think nobody does anything about it because it's not harming anybody. It's a fun way to, you know, be able to maybe get a little bit of extra money. And if you like sports, it makes games more interesting. It sounds like all fun and games. No harm, no foul. Even Adam Silver, NBA commissioner, has said he thinks sports gambling should be legal everywhere in the U.S. But some advocates say that could be catastrophic will create a new generation of problem gamblers. It will be on the computers, it will be on the smartphones, and basically it will provide a sports parlor 24-7. James Butler is the executive director of the California Coalition Against Gambling Expansion, which opposes any further legalization. He points out that gambling addiction is a serious issue. In sports wagering, even though it's gambling, people have a sense that it is um, skillful, and consequently, they think that they can beat the system. Even Paul agrees that gambling can be a slippery slope. We, I, I deposited $100 on this site, you know, back in January, and at the end of basketball season, we were up to 500 and then when the World Cup came, it started dwindling and dwindling and dwindling. We should have just stopped, but I, I do think I could tend to be towards the addictive. The federal government seems unlikely to change the law. New Jersey recently tried to pass a sports wager law, but the federal government stopped it. And if they do a sports gambling on a professional level, the, you know, the leagues are going to want to crack in it. They're going to want a piece of that money in some way. Gambling creates a culture in the communities in which it's allowed to be in. It could affect every state if every state was allowed to do it. It would really change that cultural makeup, and that's something that we're just not willing to do right now. So those who enjoy sports wagering on a low level can probably rest easy. No authorities will be knocking on your door anytime soon. But those holding out for legalization should know it's probably just a pipe dream. For now, Angelinos can continue placing bets online. 
And for those locals who are strict, law-abiding citizens, Las Vegas, where all gambling is a go, is just a short flight or drive away. M.G. Montemayor, Annenberg TV News.